Well, it's it's a difficult decision at the top between Jabari Smith of Auburn and Chet Holmgren of Gonzaga. And then I think it's a deep draft. Um, I think it, it goes all the way to number, you know, number 40, maybe even a little bit further than that of guys that can can really play. Uh, so there'll be a lot of tough decisions toward the end of the first round as to, uh, to a player you may value. So it, it, it's very good depth and then a really tough decision at number one. Jay, from your perspective, who's the most unique talent in this year's NBA draft? Oh, it's Holmgren. Yeah, Chet Holmgren of Gonzaga. Uh, he's, he's sort of a baby Giannis in the way he plays, except he shoots it way better than Giannis. And you can't really compare Holmgren to Giannis right now, but but comparing him to Giannis when he came into the draft, uh, I think is a fair comparison. I, I still don't believe, Chris, that that Holmgren's body is ever going to mature to the level of Giannis's now. He's not that type of frame. I mean, his body actually looks like Sean Bradley's did uh, when he came out of BYU, but he is tough and competitive. Uh, shoots 40% from three, uh, big time shot blocker, and unbelievably skilled. Like he's not a, a, a seven foot five man. He's a he's more of a perimeter player that can grab a rebound and bring it up like Giannis. Uh, handles it extraordinarily well, and, uh, and is a very good finisher uh, around the rim. But his ability to, to operate out of pick and rolls at his size, uh, to knock down threes and stretch the floor. Uh, you, don't, you don't see players like him very often. In fact, I mean, you know, when people say unicorn, you know, I say, hey, man, I played against Ralph Sampson. Like that dude, you know, he would have been a unicorn now. And if he was back then, you know, we've seen this before. But but there are not very many of them. Jay Billis, ESPN College Basketball Analyst. He'll be part of the NBA Draft broadcast tomorrow night, 7.30. Malika Andrews, Kendrick Perkins, Woj, Bobby Marks will all be there for all the coverage. When you look at Jabari Smith, Jay, who does he remind you of? He's got a little Durant in him uh, because he's 6'10 and uh, has a high release on his shot and can really shoot it. Uh, 42% from three, knocked down 79 threes on the season, if I remember right. Uh, really good athlete and does, you know, a good defender. Uh, so he can guard multiple spots, switch out. Uh, he's, I think he's the, the pick for Orlando, um, but it's a close call. I mean, it, you, 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 I go back and forth on this one, but, uh, but I, would, I would favor Smith. But I can certainly understand. I mean, it may be we look back in 10 years and say, what were you thinking? Because Holmgren turns out to be so good in the league. And, and as you guys know, the league has changed and evolved. The game's way different than it was even 10 years ago uh, when you would have seen, you know, some of these big guys valued higher than, than they are now. Uh, it's kind of like running backs in the NFL. I mean, they used to be the, the top picks off the board, and now they're not. Um, and that, that's the same way for some of these big guys that can't really stretch the floor. The, the game's really changed. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.